Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. Sad news from the bodybuilding world, even though this might become a little bit of an absurd story. Vladir Synthol Sagato dies at age 55. You guys might have known him as the Synthol guy from Brazil who has so much oil in his chest that it looks like he has two breast implants. Uh, the guy probably had almost zero muscle in his body, but he loved bodybuilding. But he was shot up everywhere you could possibly shoot up with. God knows what he put. I don't even think he ever used synthol, this guy. But I'm, from what John Romano tells me, these Brazilian bodybuilders or Brazilian guys that, that shoot up with oil, they, they go literally and go get like motor oil and like just stuff from the supermarket and just load it into big syringes and just blast it into their body. This guy was told by the doctor years ago, you're going to die. Stop doing it. You know what? All right, you did it. Let's let's stop and let your body get rid of this stuff. And the guy kept doing it. He's like, "Yeah, I'm going to cut back a little bit." And, he, and he, his arms doubled in size. And he and from recent interviews, he said he was still trying to get his arms bigger. I mean, this guy had a serious dysmorphia, you know, going on in his brain where he just, you know, he just didn't care. He wanted to just be as big as possible. You know, the guy had 1.7 million followers on TikTok, which tells me that you know he was almost enjoying the notoriety and popularity that he had from being recognized as this freaky guy online. He didn't even care that it was all negative publicity, you know, because let's face it, no one was, no bodybuilders were going on there to say, whoa, what a great, what a great chest development he has, what great arms he has. No, just, it's like, a, it's like, it's like tuning into a circus freak show. But Obviously, this was what he was looking for. He was looking for attention of any type. And he made himself into a celebrity, I guess, in a sense. But unfortunately, to his own demise, eventually. I mean, I don't know. There's no listed cause of death. I have to believe it's related to something that he did. I mean, think about it. People worry about clots all the time. I mean, when you have, like, gallons of oil inside your body, I mean, all it takes is, right, one, I mean, one bad shot or – you know, something dislodging itself and, and you know, you can pulmonary embolism and die. I mean, this is not like we're talking putting a couple cc's into your into your body parts. We're talking like like mega doses uh, of oil, you know, just get like like I said, I bet you there's gallons and gallons that were inside this guy's body. I mean, literally, I mean, if he was a woman, he did a pretty good job giving himself a boob job. But I mean, as far as a man goes, I don't know if anyone really wants to have pecs that look like <laughs> I mean, his arms were ridiculous. And if you look at his forearms, they're like they're like three inches around. I mean, he the guy literally has no muscle. I mean, I've talked about this with Valentino, uh, uh, Greg Valentino, who's obviously the original, you know, guy with the biggest arms. And uh, or as he's known as the man with the exploding arms because he had that infection that exploded. But I mean, Greg worked out. Greg had a good physique prior to ever doing any of this oil into his body. And he, you know, he claims he only used test propionate and, 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 you know, equipoise and just steroids, which I believe because Greg's not a liar. I mean, you could pump a lot of oil into your body just using regular steroids. I think it's crazier. Thank God his body didn't absorb all of it because think about how toxic he would have been and what his blood pressure and his uh, liver and kidneys would have looked like. But this guy literally is not using anabolics you know uh, at least not he might be using anabolics in addition to this but this is mostly just some kind of synthetic oil that he's putting into his body or was putting into his body he won't be doing it anymore obviously because he's, he's no longer alive i you know as much as it's it, you know we like to mock this guy and, and and make you know show how ludicrous what he's doing is at the end of the day the guy obviously loves bodybuilding and he loves training and you know, even though he didn't really have a really, you know, a, a, a muscular physique, he, he did work out. So, you know, you have, we have to feel bad for him and his family because, I mean, no one, I don't want to see anyone die, you know, even people that do moronic things. Look, there's guys on the internet that try to make themselves famous on social media. Like they jump off roofs of houses. I mean, look at Regan Grimes jumped off the roof of his house, for God's sakes. Colin Van Mulger jumped down the side of a cliff, and that's before he was doing drugs just to get notoriety. I mean, look at these guys that do jackass like stuff all the time and they get hurt. People get seriously hurt on, and they don't care because they just want notoriety. They want to be stars. And it doesn't matter if it's a negative star or if a positive star, they just want to be recognized. And, you know, 
I would personally rather not be recognized if, if you know, for being a little bit for being looking like a fucking nutcase, you know. Now it's one thing if you're born like that and you just happen, you know. Sometimes you get these guys that are like eight, nine feet tall, you know, and, and, and they go and do stuff because hey, I'm nine feet tall. What am I gonna do? I can't even fit in my bed. I have to have a custom everything made for myself. I might as well take advantage of this. But this guy actually did this to himself. It's 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 terrible. Supposedly the family indicated that he felt sick at his home. Called emergency services. He was rushed to the hospital and he, and he passed when he, when he got there. I have a feeling probably something dislodged itself. It was probably some kind of an aneurysm. That's the only thing I can think about. I mean, he says he was uh, inspired by bodybuilders like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously, like I said, he, he really loved bodybuilding this guy. So as crazy as what he did to his body and the distortional aspect of it, he, he loved bodybuilding, and so he's he's another nutcase like uh, the rest of us. He's just a little bit more of a nutcase because he obviously uh, lost track of what reality was, and, and uh, I don't know why he wanted to do what he did. I can't even imagine how he, he actually could wear clothing. I know I couldn't fit into any clothing when I actually had a real physique at, at 320 pounds. This guy has such distortional body part uh, measurements he probably can only wear stretchy stuff. I remember Valentino used to wear those stretchy, you know, long sleeve shirts after a while uh, because he couldn't fit into anything. Or you got to wear a tank top all the time. This guy seems like he never has any clothes on. He's he's always flexing those boobs he's got. You know, but uh, it, you know, this is a message to people. Look, it's okay to want to do things to be different. It's okay to you know go on social media and try to be a personality you know, and do your own thing, but don't do stuff that is going to make you a negative anti-hero. That's going to make you look like, like a moron or someone that you don't, I mean, would you want, I wouldn't want to do anything where if kids saw me, they would possibly try to emulate me and, and, and endanger themselves, you know, in such a way that, I mean, that this is, I mean, this is just really, really, really bad, you know, image for our sport. Obviously it's one thing that the bodybuilders take steroids I and mean, that's bad enough. Right. I mean, but there is a way to do them, you know, safely and not safely. There's no way to go to the store and get a motor oil and inject it into your body parts, you know, safely. It's just, I'm sorry. There's just there's just no way to do it. And uh, he would have been better. This guy would have been better off getting implants, like bicep and tricep implants and pec implants and whatever else he wanted to do, you know, butt implant. I don't know. Would it, I, I think that at least it would have been a solid piece in there. And it wouldn't have been the potential for all that, you know, unsterile stuff that he was injecting into his body to somehow, you know, toxify him and, and, and ultimately kill him, which is what it probably did. So at the end of the day, we have to send our prayers, condolences, love, peace out to his family. Valdir Synthol Sagato is dead at 55, died on his birthday. I don't know if that means anything or not, but I don't want to see us lose anyone, especially an iron brother. Even ones that maybe don't see the world <laughs> through clear glasses. So, once again, we mourn another loss in our industry today. And uh, I'm sure on after hours, we will do a thorough, <laughs> a thorough, uh, I guess, investigation into what happened here. I'm sure Johnny Bravo has some, some, some kind of brilliant insights into this. For now, though, I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update.